Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to show you how you can use NDI Screen Capture to share your computer screen across your network and connect it to your TriCaster, allowing you to easily share your screen for PowerPoint presentations, tutorials, gaming, whatever you want to enhance your show. And you can download NDI Screen Capture and the entire NDI Tools Pack from ndi.video for absolutely free. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So, I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up and running, and I also have my laptop screen over here on my computer. And I, what I'm going to do is combine these using NDI Screen Capture, which is part of the NDI Tools Pack, again, which you can download at ndi.video for absolutely free. And what that will allow you to do is share your monitors across your network via NDI and then bring it into your production. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Very simple, but very powerful and effective. Okay, so uh, first thing, like I said, you'll have to download the application from ndi.video. And I'm currently already running screen capture. That's how I'm able to show you my desktop right now. But uh, basically, once you have it downloaded, you can simply launch the application by clicking on your Windows logo and just type in screen capture. There it is, it is already running here. All right, so once I click on that button, I'm basically just, I'm broadcasting uh, across my network already, okay? But if we wanna go through and change some of the settings, let me show you how to do that. So, uh, you'll go to your system tray and at the very bottom here by your clock, uh, click on this to show your hidden icons, like so. And I'll hover over that, you can see there is my screen capture application already running. So if I right click on this, this will give you a couple of different options to play with. So let's kind of go through these uh, so the first one, if I go to frame rate, I can just have it set up to use the uh, monitor frame rate, or I can set it up to be in uh, different frame rates depending on uh, what your session set in or what region you're in, etc. Uh, so I'm going to leave mine at 59.94, and then the next one is capture settings. This will allow you to uh, select different regions of interest, uh, configure ROI, and here's a big one that I want to show off is your mouse pointer. So I do this a lot here so that you can see whatever I'm uh, doing uh, via my mouse, but it's, let's say you wanted to turn that off just to show like a, a video or a show your game, etc. Um, uh, there's different ways you can do that, but I'm going to go ahead and leave that on. Uh, next option is your audio sources. So here's where it gets pretty interesting. So uh, I can then send a uh, whatever I want my screen sharing uh, audio to be. I can have it uh, be whatever I have attached to my system. So it can be your system audio, so you can play whatever you're showing. But uh, let's say you have an interface or a, a different device. Like for example, I have you know this uh, Realtek microphone and also the uh, camera from my webcam on this system. You can send those over individually. This is where you would configure uh, that particular uh, source. Or, you know, set it to silence. We don't need to have anything. Okay, now, here's where it gets even more interesting is using NDI Screen Capture, you can send two different sources here. Uh, so you can send both the screen capture output uh, of your uh, computer, desktop, laptop, whichever, uh, but then you can also send a separate feed that is using your webcam. And then you can configure that however you want to as well. So for example, on my system, uh, I have an integrated webcam on my laptop, but then I also have a, a webcam here that's a, 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 an HD one uh, that I can use as well. And I could send that over via a different feed. And same thing, I can marry a different audio source to that signal as well. Uh, so I can either use that particular camera, or if I had, again, something that was maybe had a better uh, preamps or something, like I'm using like an inter audio interface, I can select that as well and marry the video source to a completely different audio source. Okay. Now the next option here is ena enable KVM, uh, which uh, I I've shown in other videos. Uh, I won't really go over it today, but basically what that will allow us to do is if I enable KVM, like so, all right. Uh, what that will allow me to do is I can then access this particular uh, desktop screen off of NDI Studio Monitor, and if I turn 
KVM on on studio monitor that will allow me to remotely control this system. So, which is pretty awesome. So if I have a machine running in a closet, for example, or like a server room, I can then access it remotely without having to go through and you know bust out a keyboard and mouse. I can do it from wherever I am in my facility. All right. Then your other options here is you can click on help to get additional help for your the NDI tools, and then also check out NDI.video and then hit exit and that will just exit out of the system. Okay, but let's go ahead and leave this open for now and let me move over to my TriCaster interface and show you how to bring that particular source in. Okay, so this is my TriCaster 2 Elite interface and uh, you can see I have my different mix effects up here, but I'm going to bring the source uh, from my laptop into this system via NDI screen capture into input number one. Okay, so to do that, let's click on the gear icon on input number one. And on the source drop down, this is where I can go to select my local sources or select any NDI source that I have broadcasting on my network. And uh, I have a couple different ones here, you know, from my different cameras that I'll show, you know, my overhead PTZ cameras and then also the, the camera that I was using to do my intro. Uh, so I have a, and a couple different TriCasters on here, et cetera. So basically what we'll need to do is find the name of the computer that I'm sharing NDI screen capture on. All right. Now, the name for my computer here is this troubled mess. <laughs> um, so uh, now when I click on that, You'll see I have three different options there, and I have three of them because my computer has three different monitors set up on there. So you could have different feeds on these uh, across the board. So if you wanted one input to be uh, your first screen and then bring another input in as a second screen, third screen, yada, 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 down the line, you can do all that as well. So very powerful, very cool. All right, so let's go ahead, and I'm going to click on the first one here. And boom, just like that, you can now see my screen coming through and the different capture settings that I have in there as well. So you can see my mouse coming in here. Cool. All right, so let me go ahead and close that. And then also I want to show you the audio side of things. So uh, you're not going to be able to hear the audio that I have playing here, but uh, you'll be able to see the levels coming through. So let me go ahead and open up my browser here on my desktop. And I'm going to bring over Google Chrome here. And this is just a video off of my, uh, off of our uh, the VizRT YouTube page. So if I hit play like so, do do do, there we go. That's coming through. And if we take a look on the interface, you'll see since I have it coming through on input number one. And if we look over here on input number one, well, there's my audio coming through. Okay. So if I click on that just to show you, uh, right now I have my connection currently set as follow video source, so it will just marry whatever I have on input number one in there. Uh, but if I select this drop down, I could always bring something else in, like click this here and just grab the source directly from uh, the NDI screen capture itself. So it's kind of up to you how you want to configure this because you might have different audio sources coming through, etc. Or you can just go through and mute it because we don't want to hear that, Oop, like that. Etc. And just to show you that it's actually doing what we say it's going to do, if I click pause over here on YouTube, both video and audio pause as well. Awesome. So there you go. And then now it's coming into my uh, broadcast. And so I can say, all right, let's have a transition here, put it into preview, input number one, and do auto in there. So I go straight from my uh, program source, which is my hosts on their virtual set, and do a transition to it. Boom, and now I have an awesome video source uh, coming through on my desktop. So a lot of different things you can do with this. This is great for showing PowerPoint presentations, uh, running some video, uh, screen sharing tutorials. If you're doing eSports gaming, perfect. You just start NDI screen capture first and then go through and launch a game and then everything you wanna show on screen, up and running, good to go. So very cool stuff, very powerful. So I highly recommend, again, downloading it for free at ndi.video. Check it out, and of course, have some fun. There you have it, another great way to share your screen and bring it into your TriCaster Productions. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to the VizRT YouTube channel at youtube.com slash official. And you can find more information about VizRT products and services by contacting your local VizRT partner or visiting our website, VizRT.com. 
And you can also get professional training with VizRT products by signing up for Viz University at vizrt.com slash community slash viz dash university. And if you're posting your work using VizRT products on social media, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags VizRT or TriCaster. We love seeing what you're working on. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of VizRT Tuesday Tutorials.